If Find My Friends and Waze had an app, baby, then it would be an off-road version for vehicle tracking for big groups and notifications for hazards with an app that I'm building I call Dust Tracks. For the last few videos, I've been developing and testing an off-grid tracking solution that's built for off-road groups, side-by-sides, trucks, Jeeps, you name it, for a way for them to track all the vehicles, have messaging, all off-grid while you're on the dirt, no cell connection required. And today, I'm gonna to show you an app that pulls all that information together. All right, so here's a disclaimer. The app I'm gonna show you is not a real app, meaning it's not in the app store, it hasn't been built, it's a design prototype. And what a design prototype is built to do is to give people like you a representation of what it would look like, how it would work, so that I can get feedback before I go through all the effort of actually building the app. Hey, make sure and hit that subscribe button because we are moving fast on this project and on these videos and you don't wanna miss a single one. Let's launch the app. All right, so we get started here at the home page or the splash screen. This is our Dust Tracks app with our logo, just giving the information about this group vehicle tracking and messaging while off grid for off road vehicles, of course. So as we click past that, we're gonna get into our first page, which is our login. Now, the login page is important because your login page determines whether you're a leader or you're a participant. There are two different views for the app depending on whether you're planning the run as a leader or just participating and wanna be able to see where people are at. So we'll log in here as the leader. And we're gonna land here at the main page that everybody sees and you're gonna use quite a bit. This is the map view. Now in this map view, you're gonna see all the trucks that are available and you can zoom in and zoom out and recenter the map. Um, you'll see the number of each truck that is, it's labeled here, one all the way through eight or however many vehicles you have. And you'll also see color coding. The blue is you in the center and the colors for the other vehicles represent the speed of the vehicle. So off over here, number three, Red means he has stopped, he is not moving. Uh, green means they're moving at a good pace and yellow is kind of slowly. So that's good for safety to know how, how quickly the vehicles are moving if you're coming up on someone fast. Up in the top hand left here, you'll get your options to see the different routes. So they have the planned route, which the leader will upload ahead of time. So that's the route you guys are gonna go on. Or the breadcrumbs, which is where you've been, you know, showing where your path has been as an individual um, truck. And then other vehicle tracks. So that's actually the tracks of all of the vehicles that are around you. So it'll help you in case there is a detour or a need for the leader to move off of the planned route, then you can see all the trucks moved a different direction. Or for a leader standpoint, you wanna see, you're not sure where everybody's at, wanna know where they went, you'll see all the tracks and the last location of where they've been. And then up here, you can just recenter the map if you need to. Uh, we have our communication at the bottom and our settings page. Now, what's different about this leader view that leaders will see, that participants won't, is this button right here in the corner. I wanna click on it, it's the hazard button. And what this does is it's communication uh, at really quickly without having to text everybody uh, with one click. And this gives the ability for hazards, uh, oncoming traffic, obstacles that are coming up, uh, sharp left turn, or if you want to indicate a turn that uh, previously wasn't on there, any of these here will automatically, when you click them, we're going to do obstacle in this instance, will automatically drop on the map that obstacle or that turn or whichever information that you want to communicate. And we'll show later in the participant view where like Waze, it will actually tell you how far until you're about to reach that. And so find my friends because it shows where everybody's at, but then it's like ways in that the leader and the participants can drop these pins for hazards and then it will let everybody know as they're coming up on those obstacles or those turns that they need, they have an action that they need to take. And uh, then there's messaging. So in the instance of this red vehicle, um, uh, if we click over here, we can see a message just popped up. Truck number three says, hey, I'm stopping because of a flat tire. So you can dismiss that message or if you'd like, we can actually go into the message section and see the threat. So here vehicle three says, hey, stopping because of flat tire. Truck four says, I'm close by, I can help. And you can see that message thread of the individuals helping each other out via text message. Once again, this is when you have no cell coverage. This is all happening with the mesh network between all the radios. They're sending the text messages, they're sending the GPS coordinates and location, and you're consuming it all on the app, making it really simple and easy to communicate.
And of course, you can message uh, information as the leader. So you can send a message to everybody. Hey, please stay in your truck at each stop. We've got a lot of miles to cover. Um, or we're filling up for gas after lunch, so don't do it before. So you can message everybody and have your co-pilot, you know, the leader of the co-pilot, type in all this information. So there's all your message threads, and then let's finally go to settings. So settings is where you go ahead and search for communicators or the devices that are close by. Um, you can connect to them, change settings necessary, such as the truck name. You can turn location sharing on and off, um, <clears throat> and other important settings that are great for the group. Now, as a leader, you have one more item here that we'll go over, and that's the group notes entry. So in this, you have the ability to enter all the information about the run, the name of the run, where you guys are meeting, what are the voice channels that you're using on your radio comms, uh, what is the lead and chase truck, where are you meeting, all this information here so that in the participant view that we'll show you in a minute, you can actually view everything, uh, emergency information at a glance. Okay, so now let's talk about the participant view. So same splash screen and same login, but once again, your login will now distinguish you as a participant and not as a leader. So same map screen that we saw before, um, all the information about the trucks. Here we can even click on the truck that stopped and see the information about the fact that they're stopped and they're not moving anywhere and where they're at. Now, um, one thing that is different here about the participant view um, is this red guy here. So you have the ability as a participant to actually drop information to the leader or the group that's important about you. So you've got a flat tire, you've got some mechanical problems, or you need to send an emergency message, one click of a button and everybody gets the information to help you. Now, I talked about earlier the ways like feature where a leader can drop a hazard or a turn or major information on the road and then it'll let you know when it's coming. So uh, messages work like we showed before. Um, here we have the individual that's stopping because of a flat tire, but also you can get the information about that hazard. So in a thousand feet, this hazard's coming up. And so it'll count down from you know, one mile, thousand feet, 500 feet. And so they can help you from a safety standpoint, know when an obstacle's coming up, a major turn, or whatever is needed, all placed there in real time by the leader so that everybody in the group can stay safe and know where to go. You of course have your messaging view that you can message individual um, trucks or all vehicles right from our chat here. And then the group notes, the uh, trail notes that we talked about before. So here's all the pertinent information about the run in case of emergency, people to get a hold of. And this can be sent ahead of time also to let everybody know on the run all the details. So everybody has it in the app even before you arrive. And then the settings menu where each individual will connect to their communicator. And if we need change the name of the truck or turn on and off location sharing, we've got that. Now this is by no means all the features that I would ever use or could ever think of for this use case, but it's what we call an MVP, a minimum valuable product, meaning it's just enough to be able to get the idea off the ground and get value to the people that might use it. Well, what do you think? Leave comments below, ask us questions, it's feedback time. That's the goal of this video is to get feedback from you. Now, I'll have more videos coming as we continue to build out this app and these features and capabilities, but if you have any questions or comments or you think this is something that you would be interested in, you can get a hold of me on our website or you can go to Instagram and reach out to me there. I will have more videos coming as this idea gets closer to a reality, but if you're interested in this idea, please reach out to me either on my website or on Instagram. I would love to hear from you and connect. Hey guys, we're gonna keep this video content rolling, but why wait for the next video? Check out the link here for another video that you can watch to get inspiration on your next upgrade.